everyone, it's Tracy Una Wagner with Versatile Inspirations, and today we're going to be learning about receiving messages from nature spirits. So with that, let's get started. All right, so today we're going to be learning about, oops, today we're going to be learning about receiving messages from nature beings. So we will get started. <clears throat> so you may be wondering, what are nature beings and why connect with them? <clears throat> well, nature beings can be any number of things that are on planet Earth, and actually some of them um, are more elemental in type. So you'll have elementals, you'll have plants and animals, anything that is of this natural setting from earth, then you'll be receiving messages from them. And you can pick and choose which ones, or you can just be open to receiving from any of them. So some of them can be elves and mermaids, unicorns, pegasuses, sea nymphs, fairies, gnomes, sprites, animals, and plants. Anything, even rocks, you can get messages from. It's amazing. So nature beings, they're of nature, and they're plant, animal, or elemental. And an elemental being is a mythical being. It is described in like occult and alchemical works from around the time of the European Renaissance. You can hear about them all over now. I mean, my gosh, they make movies about them and everything. So elementals are like almost, um, they, they say like the elements, like earth and wind and fire, it, those kinds of things. And um, a lot of times you'll see like elves, they're on the earth and mermaids are in the water. So you've got different kinds of elementals and a lot of them, they can be classified under the elements. You can actually receive messages from them and connect with them for healing, being close to nature, just getting Gaian wisdom, which is Mother Earth wisdom, their playfulness, childlike activities, and so much more. So preparing for receiving messages from spirit. Now you don't have to do this, but if you're wanting to sit with nature and you're wanting to just get some guidance or just um, really sit with that, really um, acknowledge that you're going to be receiving that information and prepare for that, then you can use a number of elements to do that. You can use candles, light a candle. You can say a short prayer. Um, you can call them in actually with that prayer. You can call in the elemental that or the nature being that you're wanting to receive messages from or um, just be open to any and all nature beings um, of your highest good and of light that want to give you messages and you can do it that way as well. You can set an intention. You can set an intention for what kinds of messages you're receiving from nature, um, how to make your plants grow better, how to, um, oh, oh my gosh, any number of things, healing, um, how to heal something. Um, gosh, what, I mean, just anything. You can receive so many different messages from the nature beings. Nature is so wise, especially when you're receiving some from trees and plants that have been on this earth for a long time. Oh my gosh, the amount of information and wisdom that they have is just amazing. 
make sure I try to have a journal, paper, pen, or other note-taking device. A lot of times I'll get messages while I'm on the computer, and so I'll keep my note, um, my Microsoft note up so that I can just really just kind of click in there and just write down messages that I receive and who I receive them from. Call in white light. Always call in white light to really um, set that stage for white beings, beings of your for your highest and best good. That's the best way to keep it just on the up and up and make sure that you're calling in the right um, the right being for your the message that you're trying to receive. Always make sure you're just relaxed and you're open. If you're forcing it or you're tense and tight, a lot of times those messages can't get through all that, um, all that, it's heavy energy. So if you just let open up and just breathe, just breathe and even start with your chest, put your hands on your chest, deep breathe in your chest and exhale. And put your hands on your rib cage and allow the air to expand your rib cage. And exhale. And then finally, deep breathe into your belly. Put your hands on your belly and really deep breathe into your belly. And exhale. And it actually what you're doing is you're just kind of opening up and allowing that energy to be as light as it can be because elementals and nature beings are light beings. And so they will actually be able to deliver that, those messages to you a lot easier if you're open and accepting. And the biggest thing I always tell people is to have faith as small as a mustard seed. Jesus said that, and it's so true. Just having that tiny bit of faith, knowing that you're going to receive the messages that you want to, or you're going to receive the messages from the nature being that you're wanting to, or that you're calling in, will actually that's all it really takes is having that small, tiny mustard seed of faith. Ways in which you can receive messages with spirit or with these in particular with nature beings, you can get them from pendulums. If you work with pendulums, you can get yes and no answers. Or if you have a board that has the letters in the alphabet, you can spell out words and things like that. With prayer, just by praying, and not necessarily to them, but just offering out a, just a little blessing, just a little prayer, just saying, I'm open and willing to receive the messages from you today. As easy as that. And you can name the, the um, nature being that you're wanting to get that information from, or you can just be open and see who comes forward. Channeling. A lot of times um, when I receive the messages, I consider it channeling because I will just be sitting there and all of a sudden I get this rush of information. And so it's almost as if I'm channeling that information from like an animal or um, a fairy or a sprite or even gnomes will come in and they'll just give you all this information. Now, if you're close to a tree, a big oak tree or um, a pine that's been around for a long time, a lot of times you'll just get all of this grounding energy right away, this rush of energy of just grounded energy. Next thing you'll do is probably get some information um, from that tree if you're open to it. And so it's almost like you're getting, like they're channeling through you this information. Channeled journal, journaling and writing. So you can also sit like I do in front of my computer at times and the information just kind of comes. You can do the same thing with a notebook, your journal, or with just writing on a piece of paper, or you can actually get it in front of your computer as well, just by getting all that channeled writing information. It's amazing. Instant communication. A lot of times, Things will be out and about, and if you're taking a walk in nature, something will just come into your mind, and a lot of times it'll be 
an animal that crosses your path or an old oak tree. I had a maple tree actually give me some wonderful wisdom with all of the, um, it was during autumn, fall, and the leaves were falling and it gave me this beautiful meditation that I um, put into as change. Um, I was watching the maple leaves falling and these maple trees just gave me this beautiful meditation that I've recorded and it was just, it, it was amazing, just almost like an instant download, but it was beautiful. Now, by tapping into your transpersonal energy system, you'll be able to receive those messages, especially if you are just sitting with your throat chakra or with one of your higher chakras, um, either the causal chakra, the soul star, or the stellar gateway. But mostly, if we're working with the energies in the earth, so the earth star, which is about three to six inches below the earth's surface, so in the earth's crust, if you go down at about three to six inches, sometimes a little bit lower, sometimes a little bit higher, just depends. Um, that earth star is actually there and you'll be able to receive lots of information from Mother Gaia and all her wonderful beings on this earth. Again, <laughs> faith as small as a mustard seed moves mountains. And Jesus said that, and it's so true. Just make sure to have that little tiny seed. If you've ever seen a mustard seed, you'd be surprised. It's so teeny tiny. And when you have that much faith, you can move mountains. And so by having that teeny tiny bits of faith, you'll be able to receive the information that you're wanting to get from those nature beings. I like to end sessions of communication. Now, this doesn't have to be regimented. It could just be a thank you. Thank you for giving me that information. That's all it needs to be. Have it showing gratitude to that nature being for spending some time with you and spending some of its energy and relaying that information to you. And it, it's just amazing what just that little bit of thankfulness and gratitude will actually get you. There again, let the light begin to fade. If you're really having a session where you're really working with the nature beings, just after you call in that light and you're surrounded by that light, just allow that light to fade just on its own. Just let it fade. And what you're saying is, I'm done receiving the information for now. I'll, I'll be back, but please um, just let that information just kind of be put on the back burner for now. <laughs> ask for the session to end, you can just say, you know, I, I need to end the session now. Just please end the session. And that's how easy it can be. Just ending it right now. All done. You can open your eyes, begin to feel your hands and your feet, move around, yawn, take deep breaths again. Just get back in your body and make sure that, you know, your consciousness is really um, grounded within your body and just go about your day. Sometimes there are sudden or unexpected disconnects, which is fine. I mean, we get distracted or it's just like meditation or monkey mind goes crazy and think of our to-do lists and da, da 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 and it just ends, which is fine. We can call that energy back at any time. When you're ready and when you're prepared, just call that energy back in and ask for that information to continue on where it left off. And there you go. You'll just keep going. Cutting cords of ties. Sometimes people think of um, connections as actual connections with cords or ties or links or something. And those cords actually attach to your energetic body, your subtle body. And so by cutting that cord and allowing white light to go back to that being, that nature being, and um, just absorbing that energy back into you, then you're ending the session as well bringing cords, lines, links, whatever 
whatever you see as a connecting rod uh, back into your soul self space. And so when you do that, you actually, especially if you're grounding or if you're going into the earth star chakra, then you're connecting with a cord or a link or some kind of rod. And um, once you're done, you can just draw that energy back up into wherever you have um, sent it out from. A lot of times people will ground by the soles of their feet and send a corn cord line or link down through their soles of their feet down into the earth. And so by just bringing that back up into the soles of your feet, then you're cutting that cord as well. Or if you send it from, I usually send it from my soul self, my heart space area and once that goes down or goes up depending on where we're going with it <laughs> then you can just draw that energy back into that space just as simple as that thank you i hope you've learned a little bit about how to connect with nature beings and receive the guidance and the healing messages and just chat with those nature beings whether they are plant or animal or mother gaia herself or um an elemental so thank you again, and please feel free to chat with me anytime. Send me an email at tracy at personalinspirations.com. You can visit me on the web at personalinspirations.com or tracyunawagner.com. Facebook is T.U. Wagner or Personal Inspirations. And Twitter is at to inspire for greatness. And my Pinterest is T.U. Wagner. I love Pinterest. So let me stop the share. Wonderful. All right. Thank you again so much for spending this time with me. I truly appreciate it. And I hope you learned how to receive some messages from your nature beings. I look forward to hearing from you and I look forward to spending more time with you again. Take care. Have a wonderful day. And as always, I'm sending you and yours love, light, and eternal blessings. Take care.